What's good, everybody? Mom Vernon Kid here back again. Thank you for coming back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well as always. And today, we're going to watch another FBE video as always. I know you guys enjoy when I react to the FBE videos. Um, they're going to watch uh, some of the college kids react to 10 things. 10, 10, 10, 10. Turning 10 this year. 2019 even though 2019 is about to wrap up but yeah these are things that have turned 10 and uh, we're gonna see what they are probably some devices some movies you know things like that but uh, yeah we're gonna do it um, so thank you for tuning in sit back relax I hope you get some entertainment out of it uh, let's do it here we go now yeah. no way wait this is a thing Yo, monster. What is Hey, monster, your oh girl's here. Oh my god, look at how like thick monster it is. Monster loves Michelle. And I just so Brittany. Today, we're going to take she a is. trip down memory lane. Ooh, exciting, okay. We will actually be showing you 10 Chelsea. things across movies, Chelsea. shows, apps, and more that all turned 10 years old this year in 2019. Oh no, you're going to make me feel really old and really bad. I'm going to have another midlife crisis. I hate things that make me feel Don't old me, Eric. aware objectively that I'm a child. First up, I'm going to be showing you the most viewed YouTube okay. video of 2009. Oh, double rainbow? I'm, I don't, that's all I can think about. How old are you, Susan? I am 47. Susan oh my gosh, Boyle. Susan Boyle, the only Tom's here too. Whoa. Susan Boyle. And that's just one side of me. I remember watching this video and being like, oh my gosh, Season who world. is this woman? She, she has a voice shocked of the world. Oh, she shook up the world, my goods. I remember seeing this for the first time. She's doing really well too. She's now had a few opera albums and oh, good for her. Did you? No. This is so good. She shook that world. She shook up the world with that. Get it, I gave her a number. I don't watch these shows too much, but I watched her. I was like, what? That was dope. I was, I respect. Respect to Miss Boyle. Queen Susan. Respect. So that video of Susan Boyle's performance on Britain's Got Talent was watched more than Respect. 120 million times by viewers around the world in 2009. God, and every season they've tried to replicate it. That's insane, especially for YouTube, like, 2009. That's like billions of views. I remember she recorded a record of her singing it, and I bought it at the time, and I still, when I- I just like Simon Cowell's face, like, time. So next up, I'm gonna show what? you the trailer for a movie that is turning 10 this year. Oh, gross. I became a marine. Is this Avatar? Avatar! Avatar is 10 years old? I told myself I can pass any test a man can pass. I don't understand how this movie made so much money. I don't want to see Thank I watched this once. I don't ever want to watch Thank it again. Thank you. I, I just got to say that. I don't understand it. it to me, it, 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 and all that in this movie are so good. And knowing that that was 10 years ago. This was one of the first, like, real crazy CGI movies. This is I was so young that when I saw them intertwining their braids, I was like, this is disgusting. Iris. They use papyrus! It's been a decade and this movie still does not have any cultural impact in my mind. So Avatar was not only released in 2009, but it was also the highest grossing movie of that year. And by 2010, it became the first film to reach $2 billion at the box office. Which is weird. Why? I don't get it. The reason why it Thank grossed you. so much money was because of all the hype around it. Of this is going to be visually the coolest movie you will ever see. I'm sorry, it, it, the it grossing did film of all nothing time for until me. Until this year when it was beat out by Avengers Endgame. Yeah, uh, shut it down. At least I remember sure. Avengers. And that's going to be like a memorable film. Avatar's just a blur. That's a 10 year streak. I mean, that's pretty impressive. It, I'm Next sorry, I'm uh, Avatar for did nothing for me. All the way back in 2009. Ooh, a TV show. This oh is my gosh, this is this Modern Family? Jay and Gloria are newlyweds. God Phil damn, I Claire. forgot Seems Modern funny, Family. Now they're the... Is that... Postmodern Family? Ten Ten years. Years. You shot me! They were so little. Now, I remember when it came out, it was winning all types of awards. Then there's Mitchell and Cameron. We just adopted her. We're bringing her home for the first time, huh? Look at that baby with those cream puffs. This was also a big show for 2009 because you didn't really have a gay couple as the starring characters. Excuse me, but this baby would have grown up in a crowded orphanage if it wasn't for us cream puffs. And you know what? No, to all of you who judge. You small-minded, ignorant It was funny, it was really real, and it was also um, shot in the way like the Office it. of Parks I and forgot. Recreation. It's 
10 years. Like, She's damn. <laughs> Come on. This is one of those timeless shows that you just feel like has been around forever. Modern Family starts its final season on September 25th on ABC after being on the air for so long. Wow, that's impressive. I forgot, yeah, this is like, ending this They're not this as year. modern anymore. 10 years does not feel like a long time, that's and that a, makes no, me but think that's that a big I'm deal. too old. That's a show big deal for TV shows now. Diversity and encouraging society to be more accepting but still, of nothing the will be differences. Law and order, as it's just amazing now, because, because that's top show. everything isn't all like perfect cut and clean families aren't like that for sure it was like one of the first shows to show like very like openly gay parents raising and like normalize it instead of being like this is like we're trying to do something it was like no this is this is how families are in the world okay next up i'm going to show you a song from 2009 that was also the top billboard song of that year Ooh, i'm thinking maybe maybe a black eyed peas they were they were big in 2009 I like that boom boom peas yep. baby let's go black eyed peas just like hit me with nostalgia on my face. I just got like whacked with it. Gotta get that. This song was the pool party summer song for two years. Black Eyed Peas were I was hearing this song in my middle school dance. It was Lima B, Boom Boom Pow. Boom Boom Boom. Yeah, this reminds me of like freshman year homecoming dance. They were like on top of the world around that time. They were they were like one of the biggest acts. Oh my god, that's so weird. You made me feel old. Said so that was Boom Boom Pow by the Black Eyed Peas. Make you feel old. Boom Boom Pow. The three best nonsensical words in a row on the radio. So in its first week of digital release, Boom Boom Pow sold 465,000 downloads, making it the largest single week and debut download in totals by a group in the history of digital download sales. That's crazy. Looking at it now, I'm like, it's probably not my type of music. It's so repetitive. When this was released, this is when we were starting to get more into just social media and more of the sort of digital ways to download music rather than physical C. CDs, which is the olden times. Okay, moving along now to a hey, video man. game that hey, was first hey, released in 2009. Okay, now you're in my territory for sure because I play like a bunch of video games. What I'm playing with Oh, is Minecraft is 10 years old? Called Minecraft. It's a work in progress, so not all the I features in it are... Never got into Minecraft. Minecraft. I wow, till this day. I know I got friends that I love this. On about May you know, 21st, I don't, it, it, I don't even like wow, Fortnite. Wow, May 21st, 2009. I hope this guy. I don't even like, like Fortnite, Minecraft but I know I got friends that love bad, that game. I guess you I could don't. call it a game. Look at the character I, doesn't I, even have arms or anything. That was um, just like strictly building. You can dig and build. I can't believe it's 10 years old. Minecraft is still crazy popular. Minecraft is almost in middle school. And that's who played Minecraft. Oh, that's so nice. So that was a playthrough from 2009 of a video game which has maintained and gotten even bigger in the last 10 years, Minecraft. Yeah, that's awesome. Minecraft came nice. out, it started to slowly build, people loved it, and then it died down for a bit, and now it's back again. This past year, like, Laser Beam and PewDiePie really brought this game back. So now let's check out this product that was massive back in 2009. Ooh, I'm thinking either a shake weight or a bump it? Shake weight is the flab bucket. Shake weight. <laughs> and my grandma and my grandpa would use it, and I was just like, stop, it looks bad. Oh my gosh, I can feel the definition already. As a 15 year old boy, this the, is very You feel the definition. You, just you feel the definition of what? Before. Just so doing this? Bad. There's still no so many. You know what you can do with this? <laughs> so you want to feel the definition, then. No, no, stop. I love those like early 2000s like infomercials. They're so cheesy and so iconic. You just shake it. Back and forth. Just shake it. That's, oh, that's gonna so do nothing. I don't think there's as many infomercials anymore because now advertisements are a lot more spread out rather than just kind of on your TV. I just remember all the YouTube content that came out after people like shake waiting in public and people would think that they're uh, shaking something else. That was an ad for the exercise equipment yeah. Shake Weight, which garnered over $40 million in sales in just one year. Are you kidding? Just doing I feel this. Like half you of think the you're gonna get into shape? We're trolling. For no, doing this. Some of the people probably right? watching this we, episode we, have never even been alive. That, that must mean every woman in like, porn has out. just so high definition like arms stuff. for Next doing up, this. Next up here's a trend that was taking weddings by storm in <laughs> I gotta 2009. Stop. Was it like the mobs? The, the like dance mobs? Yeah. Whoa! I was thinking of this exact one. That's crazy. One, two, three, four. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
Okay, you got moves. I feel like this still sort of happens. I feel like I would be the clumsy one to fall and just like ruin everything. <laughs> I know weddings are serious and like you want to be really pretty and stuff, but it's also a chance for all your friends and family to come together, so why not make it fun? Again, yeah, we never watched these. Oh, that's nostalgia right there. Dude, I totally forgot about the office parody of this. Wow. Look at the camera work. Ah! Aww. It's super cute. It's pure. It's fun. So that was the video that many believe started the <laughs> wedding flash mobs dance trend, mm. which at the time of filming this video has over 98 million views. It also inspired wedding dance mob moments in pop culture, such as on an episode of The Office. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy to think that was like such a big part of pop culture that just like actual TV shows and movies incorporated it. I had no idea that that video was what started the trend, but like the trend is all over the place. So next, we have a big moment in US history from all the way back in 2009. Obama. Are you prepared to take the oath, Senator? I am. Oh, Obama becoming president. I, Barack Hussein Obama. I, Barack Hussein Obama. God, making history. Oh. I, Barack Hussein Obama, do solemnly swear. Remember when we all weren't, like, dreading our future? <laughs> wow. To the United States. Life was different. That I will execute. The world was different. The off faithfully, the pres the office of president of the, the United States. The office of president of the United States faithfully. Look, get someone who looks at you as proud as Michelle does. That's my opinion. Like, yeah, that's look, my look at her. That's look at right. Michelle. She protect really and the like she want to eat him up, but it's like she's so proud of him. Defend the Constitution of the United States. So you tell him, Obama. Feels so like so help me a page is turning in history. Congratulations, Mr. President. <laughs> That was 10 years ago, man. I can't believe that. He's like 40 years younger before serving two terms. So although Obama won the presidency in 2008, he was sworn in and officially became president of the United mm. States in January of 2009. Sweet. And we I had a good run. It. I just felt lucky to like be alive during that time and like see these things happening because these are things that like kids are gonna read about in textbooks. Next up, I'm gonna show you a promo video for a popular app that was first released in 2009. There was apps in 2009? Hey, what's up, man? It's your homeboy. No T way. Right Wait, this is a uh, thing? Oh, a T-Made auto-tune app? Oh. It's auto. It was so fun. Me and all my friends would huddle together and we'd sing songs. T-Pain was like popping in 2009. Okay, I remember this song. I don't even think I had an iPhone until I was about like 13, 14. I, I totally forgot about that. you know me. Oh my god, I want it. I want to download it now. People saw it as a cheap gimmick. <laughs> Where it was, oh, you can't use your real voice, so you're just gonna use auto tune. When yeah. in fact, T Pain is a fantastic singer, and it was an artistic choice. So that was T Pain promoting. Yeah, like if, if you, you ever hear T Pain without the auto tune, you can sing. Like transform their own voices to sound more like T Pain's, but sadly, it is no longer available. Right, because then everyone used it in every song, and he was like, "Wait a minute, I'm destroying their world." Come on, T Pain. You know how much fun I would have, dude. I would mess with so many That's people. That's why Jay-Z made that song. One thing for you that came out into the scene in 2009. It was electronic, a popular what we electronic got? from 10 years ago that is still relevant today. Any guesses? I'm trying to think. Uh, iPhone. It? Give it to me, give it to iPhone? me. Whoa! It's so thick! What is this? The iPhone. Oh my god, look at how like thick it is. Oh my god! It's so small! Well now, this controls our lives. I don't have an iPhone. I don't want right one. Don't now. need this one. This is so heavy. I'm like shocked at how heavy it is. I don't, yeah, I don't have an iPhone, y'all. Oh, up here. I got a, I got a Samsung Galaxy 9 Plus. When you used to swipe. Oh my. I'm fine I with that. that. I don't need an iPhone. So that was only I really don't. the third model of iPhone ever on the market, and it is 10 years old. That's insane. It's crazy just to see like how every year we make more and more advancements. We're on the 11 and that thing looks like Trypophobia Max. This is gonna be in a museum one day, guys. <laughs> Finally, what is one memory from 2009 or roughly 10 years ago that you remember and can speak about? Roughly 10 years ago? Oh God, I was 12. Mm. 10 years ago I moved to LA, which is how I got here. So I guess a decade ago was the start of the path to react to a decade ago. I won a dance contest in 2009, like my seventh grade dance contest. I won a CD player. And I was like, this is the most Like looking back, I'm like, this is 2009, like the epitome of it. I had my first kind of sort of boyfriend. 
in 2009, it was like, do you want to be my girlfriend? Do you want to yeah, be my boyfriend? Yeah, you know who she go out with now? And we didn't talk the whole day because Eric. you don't do that when you're in a middle school. Tori and Eric. We don't talk to each other. We sat next to each other once at lunch, and then I broke up with him the next day because my mom found out. Coming out to LA and like wanting to do more stuff in the arts because I did dancing for a while, but it was like the first time I ever started like taking classes out in LA. It's crazy to think of those like little moments that you don't realize that is like setting you up. I gotta think day. about that. Like, oh man, uh, that was fun. I gotta think about that. Ten years ago. What was I, oh God, some, a good memory from 10 years ago. Oh man, that's, that's tough. Ooh, that's tough. That's, that's, that's tough. Hmm, yeah, that's real tough. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of something like from 10 years ago. Fun memory that I have of 2009 is oh, it one's popping in my head right now. Um, I actually ran into one of my I ran into an ex-girlfriend, um, and we we it wasn't on bad terms why we broke up. It was just it was um, just a mutual thing. Um, she got an opportunity in Seattle and unfortunately I wasn't I wasn't really ready to leave New York and I'm still not really ready to leave New York this is my home um, and you know I wished her nothing but the best you know to go out for this opportunity it was like a telecommunication job and you know she she rocked it for a while um, for three years and I remember uh, remember driving her to the I mean I remember we both we I, I accompanied her to the airport with her um, when she was gonna fly out to Seattle and um, she flew out uh, it was it was a 7 15 flight we were at uh, LaGuardia Guardia Airport. She flew out. Um, we hugged, and you know, I'll never forget what she said to me that day. Um, it was cheesy, but it, it meant a lot to me that she said that. You know, she basically, you know, she basically said, you know, you always, you always be in my heart, you know, and I'm, I'm gonna call you or write you every day. She did. She, she kept her word, and. Um, She came back to New York actually. Um, three years later, she came back. The company she worked for, they opened a New York office back in New York, and she she transferred back out here, back to New York. And um, she didn't tell me. She didn't. She surprised me. She just knocked on my door one day. Here I am in my drawers. I'm I'm early in the morning. I'm dead sleep and. Um, yeah, I kind of had a rough night, you know, I remember because I was working really late that night, I got home really late, and then I'm hearing somebody knock on the door, ringing the bell, and I'm like, this better not be no Jehovah's Witness, I am not in the mood right now, and I'm trying to, no, you know, I try not to be mean to Jehovah's Witness, but, you know, I'm like, oh, God, so, I almost pulled like a Craig, remember how Craig was like, what's up? You know, I was just wiping the crust out of my I'm like, hello. And she just said, hey, Chris. And I'm, my eyes just poop, like, and I'm just like, Shanice? Whoa. We, I was like, whoa. I'm like, whoa. And it just, it was great. Um, but uh, she, we talked and then of course she surprised me with uh she had a son and i'm like whoa okay 
uh, uh, but the her and the father they weren't really a thing, and you know for a while. But it was a good. That was a good memory to have with her. I met her son. Her, her son, um, Arnold. Arnold, um, and he was he was funny. He was a, he was a good kid. He's he's now in high school now. He's a good kid. Um, but we never got back together. It's just a mutual friendship. It's it's just a friendship now. But um, you know, I, there were times where I thought about you know getting back with her, but it, it didn't happen. I only dated in my whole lifetime. I've only dated three women in my life. So, and she was number two, uh, and she was probably the second longest relationship I had. So. Yeah, that was a good time. That was a that was a good time. That was that that's a fond memory I have. In terms of like anything else, you know, those memories like possessions and stuff. I'm I don't really care too much about it. It's things that other things like what I just told you guys. That's more important to me. Uh, sending having my ex broke up with my ex on good terms. We're still cool. That's what you want. You want to be on still good terms with with people that, in a, you know, I still want her in my life. And, you know, and if I end up with uh, someone, uh, a new someone, I'm, I'm single, guys. I, I make that perfectly clear. Uh, but there is someone that I, I, I want to um, be with and give myself to. But she does not live in New York, actually, guys. She doesn't. Um, she lives in Philadelphia, and I don't know why I'm telling you all this stuff, guys, but uh, it comes a time when you gotta just be open, and I think that's the thing about us guys in general, is like, we're too afraid of rejections, even if you want to tell that person the truth. I'm not afraid of being rejected, but I, I, but this person... This person, this woman, this queen, I truly want to be with, no matter what it takes. You learned something, right? Hope you guys learned something from that. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I ran my mouth off with that backstory, but it is what it is. You guys take care. I'll see you guys next time. Uh